guys welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another video guys the wedding countdown is on i'm gonna be a wife <laughs> okay this freaks me out because honestly we've waited for so long and the fact that it's actually so close away kind of freaks me out a bit i feel like i've got a lot left to do but it's okay we'll get there i am super excited obviously as well it's like a mixed emotions right now um but yeah as you can see from the title i'm trying to find my hindu outfit so i've ordered a few different things a few different outfits and i'm going to try them on with you um this is the first time that i've tried some of them on so i'm going to do like kind of like a cutaway where i talk you through the fit and everything um this is supposed to be the year where like there's the most weddings ever or something because of obviously covid a lot of people have cancelled to this year um so i feel like there's going to be a lot of people out there that are looking for hindu outfits so i'm hoping i can help um i'm actually having my hindu in santorini um we just decided logistically everyone's gonna be there already so it kind of just made more sense and i'm not gonna lie i know it's not my stress but i know that hindus from other people's hindus they've been very stressful to organize so i feel like no one needs that extra stress right now so we decided just to do it in santorini like three or i think it's like three or four days before the wedding um jamie's having his out there as well so it kind of just made sense to us and what, what nicer place to have a Hindu and a wedding in Santorini at one time. Um, so that's what we're doing. So my outfits are kind of tailored to that. Um, so yeah, if you've got like an abroad Hindu or anything like that, then these might be good for you. Although they're not exactly very warm kind of outfits because I feel like when we go to Santorini, it's not like high summer. So I don't know if it's still going to be like a little bit chilly in the evenings, but who knows? Um, so yeah, I'll crack on with the items that I've got. All of these items are pretty much new items. Um, so they should, st should still be available for you to buy now as well. So first up, I could always rely on Zara, couldn't I, to help me out a little bit. I got this a corset from Zara. And I just thought this was absolutely gorgeous. And this is definitely something that I would re-wear again. So that's like another thing that I hate. Like I didn't want to buy something that would literally just be for my Hindu. And like that's it. Like I'd never wear it again. So I absolutely love this. It's in like this really soft satin fabric. It's got the bone detailing on the front there. So it's really structured. But it's also got a lot of stretch in it. Like the back is really stretchy and elasticated, which I love. So you don't feel like you literally can't breathe when you've got this on. So I got this one in a size small and it was 25 99 And I thought this would be gorgeous with either maybe I might go... So I haven't got any white trousers yet. So I've only tried it on with nude trousers and it actually looks really nice. But I don't know if I can wear nude to my own Hindu. So I think I'm going to have to order some white trousers. But I'll show you what it's like with the nude ones and then... You you can help me decide um but yeah i just thought it was really really gorgeous this but um this corset you could obviously layer it up with a blazer if you had like a more of a uk hindu um so i'm kind of thinking like corset trousers blazer without blazer type of vibe and heels but i absolutely love this and i'll definitely wear this again with like jeans um and so many different outfits as well it does up at the front here with like a little little clasps and yeah it's just really really comfortable yeah, so next we're going a little bit more i'm trying to do lots of different price ranges as well just so there is a variety for you so next we're going for more like high-end more pricey if you're wanting something like really special for your hindu really glam nadine maribi i don't know if that's how you sell it say it but i'm just gonna say it that way anyway nadine maribi is your go-to i absolutely love all of their stuff on there i actually have another jumpsuit from there which would be perfect but it's which i am going to take but it's at my mum's house which is a bit annoying but i'll pop a picture of the other one that i have up here just in case that one takes more to your fancy but so i actually got this for um they have actually just restocked this style as well which is perfect but i actually got it for our new year's eve um we were supposed to have a new year's eve party um at a restaurant and it was a white party so this is what i got that for and i never ended up wearing it because one we got covid and two the restaurant actually cancelled it in the end anyway because most of their staff got covid so i actually thought oh my god this will be perfect for my hindu um and it's just so glam so luxurious i think you pay around 300 pound for this so if you're looking for something like really like nice really special that you do want to spend that little bit extra money on definitely head to nadima ruby because they do have some like shorter dresses and different things like that so this is the one that i picked and it's got the oh my god just look how stunning that is so it's got these gorgeous like beaded kind of nude mesh top and then it goes into a feather sleeve, which 
we all love and then it has the white tailored kind of like trouser bottom this is really hard to show you and it kind of goes into like a wide leg so this is yeah this is honestly incredible i have actually not oh god sorry i nearly knocked you over there um i've actually not properly tried this on yet um so i'm really really excited to try this on my only concern is the zip i don't think i'm gonna be able to do the zip myself but we'll still be able to get kind of like an insight of what it's gonna look like but i'm definitely this is gonna be a high contender because i think it's just so glam Ooh. and so gorgeous so definitely check out any of the bits from there i got a size small yep a size small it doesn't have the price on it but like i said i think it is around the 300 pound mark so yeah i'm really really excited to try that one on it just feels so incredible i think the bottoms are double lined as well yep so the bottoms are double lined so no see throughness um it just feels really incredible and really luxurious and if you've got on a broad wedding all of their stuff always comes with like a, a travel bag so you can pop it in there so you know that it's not going to get like ruined or anything if you're taking it in a suitcase even if you're just like traveling to a different part of the country like you always want to make sure that it's not going to get hitched and things like that so that's really good item that i got which is a really and that again it's a really high contender it's another jumpsuit again but it's a bit more kind of like understated um it's in this really really lovely satiny fabric so oh, uh, so i got this one from revolve um it's from the brand sundays the label or just sundays I'll show you it there now i absolutely love their stuff in the summer i have some beach wear from them my knitted maxi skirt pop it here my another knitted maxi skirt that i've got from there which i absolutely love and when i saw this i was like oh i really need to try it because i do love all of their items one thing that i need to do before the wedding is buy a new steamer because my steamer is not that great um and i definitely especially for like my bridesmaids dresses i need a steamer so i'm gonna have to order one of those off amazon um, so this was £73, which I thought actually was a really good price for the quality. So this is a long... Right, this is going to be really hard to show you. So this is a jumpsuit. It's got a deep v-neck and it ties at the front there with a cutout. And then it has like really long floaty sleeves. And then it kind of just goes down into a straight leg trouser. It is double lined. Um, and what I also loved about it is it has the elasticated waist at the back. So it's really, really comfortable, um, really, really flattering. And you can obviously tie it in as tight as you want at the front. It does have a zip as well. Um, I'm literally probably butchering this, trying to show you this, but I just thought it was really, really gorgeous. And I just thought like with a bit of a tan, gold jewelry and heels, I feel like this could look really, really nice and really, really glam. And I don't know if I want to go like full glitzy glam yeah i don't know if i just want to be like white understated but look really glam so this is my option for that i'm not really a dress person but i did want to get a dress option just to try it and i found this one on house of cb um so i got this one in a small and this is called the nanushka dress oh it was 159 pounds um i've still got the tag on it and stuff so Okay, this is going to be really hard to show you again. Why do I get the ones that are really difficult to show? So this is very similar style on top to my Zara silk top, which I love. So it has these adjustable straps here. And then I believe this bit goes up like a halter neck and round your neck. And then it's got the cups here with like a really nice satin ruche detailing. Um, and it's a midi style dress. Honestly, this is actually, like, so many, when I put um, that Zara silk top on my TikTok, everyone was like, oh my god, they need to do that in a dress. And I kind of feel like this is that. Because um, the sleeves are, like, a lot more see-through and more meshy. How was that hanging on by there? Oh my god, you can take the sleeves off. No way. So the sleeves actually have little poppers here. So if you don't want the sleeves and you just want it as, like, a bodysuit. Bodysuit? bandeau style dress you can do that that's such a great idea well done house of cb um the only thing is i do struggle sometimes with sizing with house of cb sometimes the small's too big the extra small's too small i mean we'll see i feel like hopefully the small's okay now um but i loved the ruche detailing on the front here because i feel like that's really kind of like flattering it doesn't like show your lumps and bumps um yeah i'm just not sure about dresses on me 
I think it's it's my legs like I have a really slim waist but I have quite a big bum and big thighs and I feel like sometimes dresses that are kind of like are not that flattering on me I don't know we'll have to see I have not tried this on yet so I'm excited to see what that one looks like and then the final item so I had a dress that I wanted to show show you with this item but it's not arrived and i wanted to get this video up asap because i've got so many other videos that i want to film um but one thing i think that you definitely need and you can wear with any of these outfits is like a white satin blazer so this one is from zara and it's just honestly beautiful so i got this one on a small and i believe it was around the 70 pound mark um so it has like the white buttons on the sleeve it's got the pocket detailing here and then it's also got the i don't know if these are actual pockets or if they i don't know if they're actual pockets or not but it's got the flap details for a pocket um it's just a gorgeous like fitted blazer and i feel like with any white outfit if you want a blazer to go over the top then you definitely need to look in to this one because yeah i'm definitely going to take this one with me um i probably won't i'll be taking it on holiday with me anyway but i probably will only wear it if I go for the bandeau style outfit rather than like the long sleeve jumpsuits, I wouldn't wear it. And obviously with the dress, I can take it just in case it gets a bit colder. Um, so yeah, I am gonna try all of these on now. Please pray for me that I find the one. Um, I am super duper pale, which really, really doesn't help. I've not tanned in a long while. Um, and I feel like I'm gonna not like them because I'm not tanned. But it's fine. We'll try them on. Let's do this. I'm excited. Okay, first up, this is the corset. Honestly, it just makes me feel so nice. Like, it literally is the perfect fit. Um, it hugs me in in all the right places. It's not too tight on my boobs, which is what I sometimes find. Like, it doesn't push them up to my chin. Um, it's just so, so comfortable. I've obviously got it on with nude trousers here. But um, I feel like... I do like it with new trousers, but I don't think I'd wear it for new, with new trousers for my hen. Um, do I have white trousers? I think I might actually have a pair of white trousers, but they're not wide leg. Like, I'd want to wear them with, like, a wide leg white trouser. Um, and then heels as well. Oh, I'm pretty sure I got my heels out. I'll get those out in a sec. Um, but I just love this corset. I'm definitely keeping it because I know if we, even if I don't wear it for the hen, I will definitely wear it again. It's honestly incredible um let me see if i've got some white trousers actually um and see what that looks like these ones are like an off white like cream type of color and i don't think these go i think they would need to maybe be like another white like satin material these are actually look really dirty on here that's gross i'm gonna actually have to wash these um but yeah i do really like it with the nude maybe if i did the nude with the blazer over the top maybe that's more hindu vibes but i actually really like this you could also do actually white shorts I didn't think of that. If you could do like a white tailored short um, with this bodysuit and like a blazer, that would also look really nice. See, all of these outfits that I am now thinking of. <laughs> um, but yeah, I didn't think of shorts. Shorts could actually work really well. I even actually have some white tailored shorts from Zara currently in my Zara basket. Um, I'll pop those, the link of those down below just in case you want to kind of have a look at them before I personally get them myself because I've not placed a Zara order yet. Um, but yeah, corset, absolutely love just probably need to decide what I'm gonna wear with it if I do go for this on the Hindu. The only thing that I like is it's not restrictive, it's really comfortable um, because I think we're having a dinner and stuff first. Um, I just feel like, you know when you feel free and you feel like, I don't feel like it's gonna slip down. Um, oh, I just really love this corset. So yeah, I just need to find some bottoms that are gonna be suitable because I think the nude are probably not appropriate for the hen night. But let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. Okay, wow, well, this is honestly stunning. Like this is the one if you're, if I'm feeling like pure glam. Like I honestly feel like a million dollars in this thing. I can't do it up fully. Um, because I literally can't bend my arm around that, that much and Jamie's not home currently. Um, but, oh my God, this is unbelievable. This is incredible. Um, so I could also potentially wear this for our welcome drinks if I wanted to. But I do have another dress that I potentially could wear for that. So I do feel like I need to take this with me just in case I'm feeling going all glam. My only trouble is it's quite long. 
Um, I've not got heels on at the moment, but I am on my tiptoes. So I potentially might need to have this taken up if I'm going to go for this option. So I need to bear that in mind. Um, I might just get it taken up anyway. Um, why am I out of breath? Um, but yeah, it fits like a glove. I've not, I've got seamless underwear on, but they're like a dark brown. Um, so I'd, and they're like quite thick. So I probably would just wear like a really seamless thong underneath this and that would be fine. It just fits amazingly on the bum. Um, and yeah, it just feels incredible. Literally hugs you in all the right places. Oh, now I'm torn. Do I go, do I just do it? Do I just go full on glam? I mean, I'm only going to get Hendy once, so maybe I just do it. I just love all of this detailing. The shoulder pads, the feather sleeve. Um, yeah, I really, really like this. I didn't think I was going to like this as much as I do. And I feel like it's definitely more Hendu vibes than maybe the corset. Maybe I can wear the corset on another night, even with the, for the welcome drinks. Oh my god, this is going to be really difficult. I've got too many options. But yeah, absolutely love this. Oh my god, excuse the cloth. I literally have to wipe the mirror after every single change. It gets so dusty. Okay, initially I thought that out of all of them this was going to be the one that I loved the most. And now I just don't know. I don't know if it's too, like, beachy vibes or whether if I did put... I'm sorry, I should put heels on, really, but they're underneath the bed and don't want to disturb that sleeping little angel over there. Um, does this look too beachy? Oh, my God. I'm so stuck. I thought this was going to help me out, and I'm even more stuck than I was before. The only thing that irritates me about this is the lining finishing before the material. I hate that. But could I get past it? Potentially. I like the cutout. I feel like with a tan, maybe a necklace, a bit more jewellery. I love that it's floaty. Super comfortable. I can eat as much dinner as I want without being like, oh. Because the Nadine Maribi one is like full on skin tight. So I might feel a bit like, oh my god, I'm so bloated. But is this enough for my Hindu? I don't know. Oh my god. I honestly didn't think this was going to be as difficult as it was. Um, I am getting my hair done darker in the next couple of weeks as well. I'm going a bit more darker brunette. I just don't feel... I don't know if this says, wow, it's your Hindu. Do you know what I mean? I'm, like, talking to you like you're going to reply to me right now, but you're obviously not. But please let me know in the comments. Okay, yeah, I'm really, really not sure. Okay, so here's the dress. Now, I've got a few comments about the dress. I actually can't do it up again because I can't um, reach, but so this is why it's probably not sitting right on my boobs. Um, I love this ruching. It actually fits really nicely. It's not like too tight on my hips, which is what I was worried about. The length's really nice. Um, but these, like I said, on the poppers, are they meant to not be attached? Because every time I move my arm, they unpop. Um, and they don't really stay up. So I'm not really sure if that's like a design flaw or if it's not meant to be like that. They're meant to be like loose and maybe I tuck those in. Let's have a look on this side. Yeah, they're like sewn in. Ooh. They're like sewn in. So maybe if I just hide them and then they're just kind of like a sleeve. Is that what it's meant to be like? I'm not sure. I do actually quite like this. I thought I was not going to like it as much as I do. I don't know if the jumpsuit suits me better, so let me know down below. Um, but yeah, sizing-wise, um, the small is great. Um, I think I actually selected to have the larger cup size as well, which doesn't really look like a large cup. So yeah, if you're anything like probably a C or bigger, then definitely get the l larger cup size. Um, it feels really comfortable, it doesn't feel too tight. I actually really like this ruching here because I think because of the material, you know sometimes when like satin like sticks to your belly, like this doesn't do that. God, this is going to be very difficult. Okay, so I've just kind of put together this little outfit. Um, so something different that you could wear with the blazer. Um, this skirt I actually forgot I had. <laughs> It's from Zara and it's gorgeous. It's kind of like more creamy, but I still think you can get away with it if you can see like the white with the cream. Um, so I probably would try and get like a white or a creamy like satin bralette. Um, I did actually have one and I have no idea where it has gone. Um, oh, I tell you what I could wear. Okay, I've just had a thought. Let me just change quickly because I think this will be better. Okay, 
that's better um because it actually matches i actually really really like this outfit um but yeah this could be like another hen option if you're wanting to be like a little bit more dressy not like yeah I actually really like this outfit. I think I might actually wear this on one of the nights anyway. Um, so this is the Sassin blazer. It's just gorge and a perfect like chuck over anything. The skirt is Zara. Really, really flattering, really, really stretchy. I think I've got a small. And then this is my Orson's and Iris top that I've put with it. I don't think you can get this anymore at all. I think it's completely discontinued, but I will find anything similar. Um, but yeah, this with heels, I feel like would be another nice outfit i'm just gonna pop you here to end the video because it's a lot better lighting and i've just taken my um ring light down so yeah please comment down below and vote what's your best i am honestly like i'm now even more stuck than i was before <laughs> i thought that there was going to be like a firm favorite when i tried them on and i really don't know so yeah let me know down below i've got i'm not gonna say how many weeks i've got but i've got a good majority of time to find something new or yeah to fully decide um so yeah let me know is my nipple out no um let me know what you think down below um i need all of your guys help i definitely do because i cannot decide so yeah vote for your favorite and i shall see you all in the next video bye